EQing can take vocals from sounding like this. Shit was cool until it was I'm even vibing or I'm hustling. To like this. Freestyle and money piling. If you like it, then I love it. Alright, I just lied. I did more than EQ to make that vocal sound like that. But EQing is still one of the most important tools you have as an engineer. Every sound, especially someone's voice, is a combination of low, mid, and high frequencies. EQing or equalizing makes those frequencies higher or lower depending on what you need to make the clearest and cleanest sound in vocals. This is an EQ. This is Neutron. It's one I like to use. There are so many though, so don't get too caught up on uh, which one you're actually using because they all do the same thing. All these hills are the frequencies from low to high. And when I slide this band through, you can really hear the lows, the mids, and the highs. It's easy to do too much or too little when it comes to EQing because there really is no one size fits all because everyone's voice is different. But that's why it's so important to actually use your ears and your taste as an engineer to make the best decisions for the song. When it comes to the main vocals during the session, I usually always start with this basic shape where I'm just cutting out the lows that you really don't need and I'm just boosting the high end of the voice a little bit to get that crispiness. And then from there, I'll move those around depending on how high or low someone's voice is. After that, I listen for frequencies that stand out to me and take away from the clarity of the vocal or for frequencies that are too soft and I think should be brought out. The ear for that comes with time, but once you know what to look for, it's really not too hard to pick up. Now, when I listen to this vocal, something down here is standing out to me. So I'm gonna take this. Shit was cool until it wasn't. I'm either vibing or I'm hustling. And there it is right there. And obviously you can see it on the graph where that part's higher, but really use your ears and actually listen to what you're, to what you're looking at. So right here, like I would it, go I through and just dip that a little bit. And then for frequencies that are too quiet, you would do the opposite and then raise those to make them louder. It's so easy to do too much when it comes to EQing and to hyper-focus on every little thing. The principle I like to follow is less is more. I really try to get the vocal sounding how I want with as few moves as possible. In this session, this is all I did to the EQ. Just cutting the lows right here, boosting the highs a little bit, and then dipping two frequencies in that lower to mid range that were standing out to me. Without the EQ, it sounds like this. Shit was cool until it wasn't. I'm even vibing or I'm hustling. And then with the EQ. Shit was cool until it wasn't. I'm even vibing or I'm hustling. It's clear. It's crispier. I'm taking out the parts we don't need and I'm making the parts that we want more of a little louder. That's that with EQing. Really take your time and make sure you're not doing too much and getting too wrapped in with the smaller details and then really use your ears and trust yourself and your taste. Next video, we're getting into compression.